Today I'm going to show you how I clean seeds that are found inside of berries and fruits. So I've gone and collected some from my garden. Uh, this is a magnolia seed head and inside it is these red fruits which contain the seeds. I have some blue cohosh, some doll's eye actea, and this is a seed head from a jack in the pulpit. The actual types of seeds here is really not that important. The procedure I'm going to show you works with any kind of seed that comes out of a fruit or berry. Let's have a look at some magnolia seeds. This is the whole seed head and inside of it are these individual seeds. And once they're ripe, they're red and they come out quite easily. They're quite fleshy. So you have to take this red part off. Now the reason you take the fruit off of seed is that the fruit contains an inhibitor and this actually prevents the seed from germinating. You have to always make sure you get all the fruit off these seeds and clean them well. Now they're a bit wet and sticky but I find the best way to do this is with your fingers. All right, now I've got three seeds out and they're still covered in the juice from these seed heads and I want to clean them up to get rid of all those inhibitors. So what I'll do is I'll put them in a little dish and add some water. And I'll just squish them around in the water here. You can let them sit in here for 10-15 minutes, that won't harm the seed. Once I think the seed is nice and clean, then I just take it out of here. And I like to use these dinner plates, which seem to work quite well for me. Let's put them on the edge, and I'll let them dry. And in fact, on a plate like this, I can do three or four different kinds of seeds, and I just let them dry for three, four hours and then I'll package them up. Here we have some blue cohosh. Uh, this is Ontario native and it has a very thin fruit and a very large seed inside. So if I just scrape this uh, outer skin off, I'm left with a seed that's almost the same size I started with and it's very hard so this is one seed now it still has some of the fruit on here so again I'll throw it in the water and get it clean it's pretty easy to do these by hand if you only need a dozen seeds or so that works quite well the other option is to use a sieve now you can put two or three seeds in here and just roll them around and rub them against the sieve the sieve is abrasive enough that it forces the skin off and it takes off a lot of the fruit as well. And this works better if you're going to do a larger quantity of seed and, and as you can see I have different sized sieves depending on the size of uh, seed that I'm working with and the quantity I'm trying to do. So once the skin is off, put them back in the water and you give them a good wash. Now you can do it this way, which works fairly well. Or again, you can make use of your sieve. So if I dump this into the sieve, Then I can run this under the tap and wash off all the small stuff. Now the other way I like to wash them is actually right on the plate. And this works really well for smaller seed. All of the skin and material comes off quite easily this way. Then turn the water on to just a trickle and let it flow over the, the plate. The heavier seed will stay at the bottom 
and all the fruity parts, since they're lighter, will just float off. So it's kind of like panning for gold. You gotta do a little careful so you don't wash all your seeds down the sink. But once you get the hang of this, this works quite well. So now I have cleaned blue cohosh seeds. Now let's have a look at some Doll's Eye Actea. These are really neat berries. They're quite white, but they have this one little spot at the tip. And that's where the name comes from. Looks just like a little doll's eye. Now these are a little different than the other two berries we looked at, because each one of these has several seeds inside. If I squish one, you'll clearly see the seeds. There's about a dozen seeds, uh, maybe eight eight seeds in this one in each berry. So we want to squish it, break it apart, and then wash all that fruit off the berries. I'm going to use a sieve for this one just to show you a slightly different way of doing it. Sieve also works really well when you're trying to do a lot of berries. Just put them in here, squish them around, break it all up, And I'll run that under the tap. And that washes a lot of the fruit off. If we have a look at it, there's still some fruit on it. Now you can use your fingers and pull it apart and you want to get every bit of this fruit off. Now in nature all kinds of things come along and take this off for the seed like uh, molds and, and bacteria they'll come and eat this. On some seeds the ants will come and clean them up but we don't want to wait for nature to do all of this. We want them to germinate quick and so we need to take all of this off. All right, this is the seed head from a Jack in the Pulpit. Makes really nice red seed like this. And uh, in the garden, if you want to collect these, you kind of have to compete with the animals because some animals come along and eat these, even though they're quite poisonous. And this is important uh, for all the seeds that you handle. Assume that every seed and every fruit is poisonous. This is not going to hurt you by touching them. But once you're finished, make sure you wash your hands and you wash all of this uh, dishware. Let's see what these seeds look like. So as it turns out, this plant made berries, but the seeds never develop properly inside. There are no seeds inside the berries. So we're out of luck. If we want seeds, we'll have to go and gather from a different plant. Now that I've washed the seeds, I put them on the plate and let them dry for a few hours. Uh, later today or maybe tomorrow morning, I'll come and take the seeds, put them in a little envelope, name them, and I can store them away.